all for coming. I thought, I thought I'd never find it out. I was getting too old, too stubborn. I thought I was happy. That was, that was until in a single life changing moment. This wonderful man comes into my life. I, I, I was, I, I am blessed with a big, beautiful family who are here today. My big brother, Leo, with his wife, Vivian, my niece, Kira, and my baby sister, Erica. I'd also like to thank my sister Malou and her husband Henry and my niece Kara and my best man, my baby brother Mitchell. But during a time of great loss, I found love. Family is what brought us all together. I'm done. I'm giving up on dating. I, I can't anymore. Here we go again. Dan, of course the perfect guy doesn't exist. It's all about give and take. Things are always over before they even begin. But of course, like in the movies, we always miss each other the first time. Sure, you're not yet. But the perfect guy eh, is just around the corner. Or more likely around the parking lot. <laughs> you see, Mitch? Dating is not just about give and take. Compromise is important. But also being present. Really listening, you know? The ladies love that. And action. Don't forget action. Are you even listening? Yeah, yeah. Active listening. You see, dating's not really my thing. It's yours. And besides, some women just have too many expectations. Is it too much to ask for the basic manners? The guy ended every sentence with a bro. Dude's too old to talk like that. You ready to go, bro? You seen the last night game, bro? Do I look like a bro? <laughs> okay, okay. So you weren't compatible. But then, let's be honest here. Don't you think you're giving up too soon? Or you're nitpicking too much? Okay, so I am. But just because I'm getting older doesn't mean I have to lower my standards. Besides, it's the guy that I meet. Remember the last guy? He kept walking faster than me, and I'm only five feet. I asked him to slow down, but he would for like three minutes. Then he would go walk fast again. <laughs> oh, see, that's what I mean. Trust me, Erica, that's only the tip of the iceberg. High expectation? Eh, some do. But dating is not as bad as you think. You might not be into it yet, but you gotta be ready. Oh yeah? If it's not so bad, why haven't you found anyone yet? The right one hasn't arrived yet. Hi, good afternoon. You must be Kira's grandparents. I'm Jacob Rivera, her uncle. Very nice meeting you, Jacob. Pretty handsome. Bye. 
Auntie Dan, you you just missed my best friend. Their uncles literally just came. No, I'm sorry, Kira. We'll meet them next time, okay? I promise. Will you be joining us? Mom? Dad? It's okay, my darling. I know you think dating's a pain, but you shouldn't give up just yet. You never know. Maybe the one could be just around the corner. Turns out, he was just right around the corner. But looking back, I still love how we finally met. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, if I remember correctly, that took your breath away. <laughs> So, you know, Diana, I was skeptical about love too, but when the right one comes along, you just know. All right, okay. Who would like to partner up with Brother Mitchell? I don't mind. Oh, okay, all right. Let's, uh, well, let's just go over there and uh, we'll start with that. Okay. <laughs> Diana, my darling, life is too short for us not to take risks. Everything could change in a single moment. We have our third player. We just need one more player and we will begin. How about you, sister? Will you play? I yes. Do. I meant. I meant sure, yeah, yeah. Sure? I'll, yeah, I'll play. Okay. All right. Well, just head your way over there and we'll start. After that event, they could have stopped talking about each other. But I think Dan was still too embarrassed. She practically sprinted away when they won. <laughs> when she said, I do, I was like, wait. Did he, did he propose? <laughs> <laughs> After which was really an awkward handshake, almost pat. <laughs> you know, as the older brother, you can't help the feeling of being always overprotective. But if I'm being honest then, you've always been able to take care of yourself. I do have one advice for you guys when you start this marriage journey. And it's something me and Vivian practice every day. And that's communication and understanding. There are good times and bad. You share it all. But I'm like my brother in that we're both romantics. Actually, he's more of a romantic than I am because <laughs> without him, I wouldn't have found Henry. Um, and aside from romance, he's helped me to find um, <laughs> confidence and stability. <laughs> Whether it was my education, my career, especially faith, um, I wouldn't be where I am today without him, without his guidance, especially because he's practically had to raise us. Um, he's worked so hard to keep us happy, to keep us healthy. So thank you to um, to Den um, for, and I'm really grateful that now he finally has somebody to keep him happy, to keep him healthy. So thank you so much for coming into our lives. So hopefully we'll stick it out 
fight through it, whatever problems come your way, just let love do. And the day that they finally met, it was nothing short of a romantic movie. Accidents are so frequent these days. It's like we keep waking up to more accidents. And then here in the news, someone's loved one passed away. I know. Well, that's life. We gotta make the best of it. And now we would like to invite Sister Anita Martinez to say a few words. Thanks, Ta. Thank you, everyone. Wow. <laughs> 35 years? Time flies so fast. You know, apart from the look on my patients, nothing makes me happy than my husband that picks me up from work every day. Aww. And on Fridays are extra special because he brings flowers. Aww. We've been blessed with our children and we always try to impart to them that love never fails, especially God's love. To my loving husband, Dwayne, thank you for the support for 35 years. Oh, uh, no, yeah, uh, sorry, I thought this was for something else. Oh. Sorry. What are the chances my auntie Dent and your Uncle Jake meet again? Ooh, it's possible. We all arrived at the same time. But I don't see where he went. Red flags. How about you, Dan? Do you know your red flags? Vivian, here we go again. Of course, no one is perfect. You know, Diana, maybe what the, what the family are trying to say, maybe you keep finding reasons for things to go wrong. Why not find uh, ways they can go right? Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the problem, is that it? Nothing's wrong with you, Dad. And you know, you can always go laugh. Okay, laugh, but that's actually helpful. Because I've been needing to go for a while. So laugh. Yes. Hey, it's you again. I didn't get the chance to say this, but you run away so fast. I think we'd make a good team. I was there, behind Sister Anita and Brother Dwayne, to hear her timeless and eternal advice, which actually gave me the courage I needed myself. Everything could change in a single moment. Come on, Mom. We can take you guys home. It's pretty late already. Mom, Dad, you don't want to go home yet? You know, the night is young, and so are we. You kids enjoy yourself. Keep chatting. Us? A walk in the park would be great to end this evening. A walk sounds nice. Maybe I can join you. My dear, Diana, this one's different. I can feel it. I know you can feel it too. Remember this always. Love takes time. Great love 
needs a leap of faith, and true love endures forever. Everything could change in a single moment. Earlier this evening, a male and female in their late 50s have been identified in a car crash. This is an ongoing case, making this this week's seventh car-related incident. Diana, you have a wonderful family. And our own family is no stranger to grief and loss. But Jake, man, I'm proud of you. And if mom and dad were still alive, I know they'd say the same thing. To be honest, I was never really into the romance thing. That was, that was my brother's department. But in the few months that we got to meet, we got to know your parents, I'll never forget and I'll always remember their great love and timeless advice. At a time when it felt like our hearts would stay broken forever, I felt like it was your love that helped us heal. Then, <laughs> what our mom taught us was right. Love never fails, and love always endures. If only our mom could be here to see how beautiful and radiant you look in a wedding gown. And if only our dad were here to help walk you down the aisle to my big brother, Jake, my new big brother-in-law. I'm sure they would have loved you and would have accepted you into our family just as much as they did us. But we were there for your moments. The sweet ones. Sad ones. Get it. Oh, maybe I will. Okay, here it goes. 
What do you get when septic and the hopeless fall in love? What? Unbelievable! <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Nana, can you tell it again, please? And so it goes. What do you get when a skeptic and hopeless romantic fall in love? It's inevitable. Hi, you must be curious my parents. My name is Jacob Rivera. Very, very nice meeting you, Jacob. Pretty handsome. Are you married? You should have asked that in your first meeting. <laughs> Excuse my wife. She's always playing matchmaker. Is that your phone? It's my Auntie Erica. She let me borrow it. They're on their way here, too. It's okay. And no, I'm not married. Maybe then, one day. Then in that case, I think you'd be perfect for my daughter. Her standards are high, but underneath it all, she has a big heart. Maybe one day I can meet her. Who knows? I might be her standard. See? I'd like you over here. <laughs> you ready, Kara? Ready. Bye, Kira. Maybe they'll meet next time. It's inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Auntie Dan, you you just missed my best friend. Their uncles literally just came. I believe God sent you to me. Knowing I would face heartbreak. And in his perfect timing, you would he would put it back together again. All my life. Never doubted in God's timing. Every day I pray for my own family. Every night I pray. And now, here you are. An answer prayer. I promise I will take care of you. I know even though I'm always away because of work. I promise to love you. To cherish you. And in this moment, I promise you that I will love you now to forever. Hey Mitch. <laughs> oh, hey Erica. Um, so wow, I'm surprised. You really know how to give a speech. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, my brother thinks I don't listen, but I really do take notice. Yeah, so uh, I have a question. And you probably like don't even remember this at all, but when we were at the- Why did I avoid you that night at the retirement party? Yeah, so you do remember. Why did you? All I know is maybe I was a bit nervous, maybe even a bit scared. <laughs> scared? Of what? Me? Yeah, or no. I mean, sometimes I'm just a bit afraid to start something not knowing how it'll end. Well, no one really knows how things will end. 
That's the best part. But I mean, hey, we don't have to go so deep. You know, we can just be friends. Friends? Yeah, I'd like that. <laughs> it's inevitable. Oh